PSA MT110s. Now, PSA, they claim on their website, stands for Power Sound Audio. That's a lie. Because I figured out exactly what PSA stands for. It stands for Power to Summon the Authorities. Yeah. That's a 10 inch mid bass and a horn loaded compression tweeter. Very deep down there, way down there. And these are the most expensive speakers I've reviewed. Two reasons for that. Number one, material used, because these are gigantic, 35 pounds a piece. Has to be doubled. MDF, those are not single MDF ca uh, cabinets. And the second thing is they're made in America. Now my European viewers seem to bring that up like, why does that matter? Well, it matters because you can't find it. If you live in Sweden, you could definitely find things made in Sweden. You live in France, you can find things made in France. You live in Germany, Italy, any of the Nordic countries, you could find things made in your countries and you live in a little bubble and you go all by your other things. In America, you can't find things made in America important when you do so you're gonna pay a premium for that for that logo right there but yes it's worth that because I don't think they could have made these speakers in some foreign country and then had them shipped here and made the price much lower because there is a lot in these now I'll say this as big as that is don't expect low end from these on their own. Do not expect to use these in a 2.0 and be satisfied. There's no port here, which means it's a sealed box. And the only sealed speakers I've really tested up to date are the Dayton B652s and their air counterparts and the Yamaha NS6490s. And one of the two things about those speakers that you remember is that they got very, very loud without distortion because when you port a speaker like these JBLs or the wave crests or even these little sights. It means when you push them really hard, the driver can go in and out and in and out all the way because it's got an air is escaping and it's letting it do it. And that means it has a maximum volume. And these, as far as I can tell with the equipment I have here, have no maximum volume. They're 95 dB per watt efficiency. Now, I'll explain efficiency. These little things, remember those? Everyone had a heart attack when I reviewed them? These things are like 83 dB. So I put a watt of power into this, and 83 decibels comes out. When you put a watt of power into this, and 95 decibels comes out. Which means you do not need a vintage Pioneer or a Behringer A500. I'm using my Tascam, which is a rebranded Onkyo, basically, with 100 watts a channel, and I could damage my hearing in this room with these. They have no ceiling. So 100 watts per channel, put it in there, and it's, that's it. You can't be in the room if, it's, if I play these at zero. If I put this to zero. Ah, okay, no, we're not, we're not playing music now that'll come tonight when all the businesses around are closed and the bars are packed and no one can hear me because of the windows then I'll do the sound review I have to wait for like seven hours because there's no way I could play these I have these for now oh, I think three months I think I've had these for, for nearly three months and I've used them for probably half that time so I have a 12 by, by the way $575 each shipped i think that shipped pretty sure it's shipped so you're looking at like a 1200 dollars pair of bookshelves two-way bookshelves that don't produce low end and they don't produce low end because they're sealed and they don't produce low end because if they produce low end they couldn't get as loud as they do and they get loud but they get clear here's the thing these look like those Gemini speakers you'd find on like Parts Express at you know, $75 for a piece or a pair. And you put them in a college dorm frat house and they sound like crap and they blow out. These are not those. They may be designed 
similarly by, you know, box, speaker, Russian driver, blah. But oh my lord. All the parts come together. Now, the power to summon the authorities. Uh, I didn't think of a thing for the MT. I'm sure it'll come. Here are... They can be used for music if you add a sub or subs. Now, PSA makes subs, and these are getting their own review that's going to be linked in the description or at the end of this video. Those are two of them. But I will have to go out and say, yes, you can use a normal-ish sub. This is my, uh, that's a Martin Logan 300, eight inch power, and that's a Martin Logan eight inch powered. And I've used them in conjunction with these. And there's only one problem with that. If the speakers are the car, and the subwoofer is the trailer being towed behind the car, you know, 55 miles an hour, everything's fine. These speakers, however, will do way more than 55 miles an hour. They're like 155 miles an hour, and those little subs just rattle apart and fail. So, if you're going to buy these speakers for music or surround sound, you need a sub. Uh, it's going to be a preference to their subs, because as loud as these get, they've designed those to get. But those are expensive. Very expensive. Now, I don't want to detract you from investing in these, even if you can't invest in those right away. So if you have pretty whomping subwoofers already, you know, a set of BIX, a set of BIX, or the NXG or, or an SV1000, something like that. You know, let's not talk about SV, because that's, we're going to get into that in the subwoofer review, why we're not recommending SVS with these. But no, no, even if you have an SVS, think about these, these right here. Because the efficiency means you don't need special equipment. You could buy a 249 refurbished Denon receiver, put these speakers on it, and I would have no concern over their quality or volume. Zero. Uh, if you wanted to go Looney Tick, Looney Tick, you can get the entire setup from PSA. Now, so this is the MT-110. There's the MT-210, which is just... Just take stupid and add another giant chunk of stupid to the top. And then your wife leaves you. Actually, honest to God, <laughs> your wife's going to leave you if you probably bring these home anyway. So if you're on the rocks, just seal the deal, buddies. Get these. Also, if you hate your neighbors. You got neighbors you don't like? You really want to get that fist fight going? Boom. PSA. They have a center with dual, they have a center with a single, which is basically just the horn taken out and rotated. Same price, makes a difference. They've got these cool angled rears, which I'd love to try, but I don't think I have the phys... Oh, I guess I have the physical room. I can't imagine having a 10-inch... Those, those are just 10-inch again. Those are just these flat and on a wall. So that would just be... This is movie theater stuff. This is pro-end stuff now. Let's get on to the sound quality, because I've been avoiding it a little bit. These are some of the best speakers I've heard. Right? And I'll tell you why. It's because, you know, little speakers, when they sound big, well, when big speakers sound to their size or slightly bigger, it's time to have a party. And literally having a party is what I would do with these. I, I had them, like I said, off because of multiple uh, noise complaints. So for the, for the past two months, I've had to have them off, and then I put other things on. And, okay, and now it's time to go do this review. So I put them back on the Doomstacks, which is now the official name. The stands is not going to work. The Doomstacks are better. And I sat here on my comfy couch all the way back here and just played music to the point where I thought I was going to have a migraine. Because you can't help yourself. You can't help it. Because they're so efficient and everything, there's no fear. I had no fear listening to these speakers at the volumes I was listening to. Whereas like those JBLs, which are getting reviewed next, which by the way are the best speakers I've ever heard in my entire life. And I spent some time. Those, there's fear. There's fear in these, there's fear in the wave crest, there's fear in my emotivas. Your fear of you're going to blow something up, fear of you're going to damage something, fear of, you know, no fear. 
is what these are. These are, you know, that stupid slogan people used to put in their cars. You should put it on this. Because you sit here and you're like, wow, I hear everything. I wonder how loud they'll go. And once you've pushed the volume past where any other speaker you've ever been comfortable with listening to is, it's very hard to go back. I mean, I was playing stuff as if I was at a live concert. That's what these can deliver. These deliver live concert volumes in a home environment. And hopefully the authorities don't come and stop your enjoyment of those. Now, when I've used them in my surround sound, obviously I only have two. So I was using the uh, single SX6 here as my center. And when that got overrun, because centers are very, very, very important in a surround sound. Very, very important. So I couldn't really push to the potential. So I shut off my center channel, which meant the left and rights played as left, right, and center. They, they faked a center. And then the volume came up. And then I had to lower down my poor, poor micas. I'm so sorry, micas, because the volumes I was attempting with those just simply, they just, no, no. That's why they offer those rears. And honestly, you're going to die. Is basically what I'm going to say. You're going you're gonna to die. I put on Interstellar, which if you've never seen Interstellar, spend all the money you have to buy a PSA setup and then take off all your clothes and sit down in like a beanbag chair in the middle and then play Interstellar with dual 15-inch subs and the end of the earth will literally be upon you instead of just figuratively, because of crops dying. Crops dying won't be the reason the earth ends. PSAs will be the reason the earth ends. So that's what I'm saying. You have to be a lunatic. These are not for the normal people. If you're normal, you're not buying these, right? I was normal at one point. Now I'm abnormal. And now I'm like, oh, do I have $1,200 I could find in my pocketbook maybe? And oh, maybe I can go out in the street and give hand jobs. I don't know. That was terrifying. Point being, if, you have a if you're going to college next year, hey, high school kids that are going to colleges next year, start saving. Because when you arrive at college and they say, hey, why should we let you into our frat? Bring a set of these as like an entrance fee. Like, I don't know, I guess I could bring my speakers. And you hook these up and then you're in. You're just in. No hazing required. Because if I went, I have been to a couple college parties and they have... Sound systems that, uh, what's the word? Suck ass. They just suck ass. They just get whatever they can and they play them as loud as they can and then they break and it sounds like that. If a college dorm puts these in them, just these, and they get whatever subs, because they're just going to blow the subs out and puke on them and there's going to be someone takes a shit on it. But whatever they can with these, I would absolutely respect that establishment no matter how many laws they break because these are excellent fidelity for sitting here listening the highs are clean and crisp the sound stage is amazing the the bottom end obviously drops out like 70 like 70 it's like the same frequency response you get out of a dayton b652 is what this gives you it just gives it to you uh 15 times greater capacity i'm not saying I don't know what I'm not saying. I know what I am saying. I'm saying that I'm pretty much befuddled by these speakers because they're not in any category. They're not in the category of, well, should I buy the Shanes, the Wavecrest, or the PSAs? That doesn't make any sense to me, the German 3 says. Because the, the Shanes, yeah, the Shanes get loud, but they're a 5-inch driver. And the Wavecrests, well, they don't get that loud. Well, they're a 5-inch driver. And this is something... Completely, there's going to be a, a designation in my review, in my recommendations. It's going to be like, well, now you're going to go past normalcy and you're going to go to these. Insanity. You're, you're an enthusiast if you buy these. All right. You're not, you're not a, a, a naysayer. All your giant amps are not needed anymore. You could just get these and a normal amp and you'll be fine. Well, you won't be fine. You'll be deaf, and the police will be there constantly. But uh, that's what you're that's what you're buying into. A limit, limitless is the word. Like that movie, but better than that movie because it's it's real. Limitless amounts of music.
Like if I put that up, when I put my, when I do the sound review, sound demo, and it's dark out and it's full of terrors, I will push, I will try really hard with my recorder to get, let you experience how loud these are and to know that there is no distortion, zero, zero distortion. I I can't push them any harder. They handle 175 watts according to the to the to the manual, and this only pushes 100. And at 100, I don't know even what 175 would do. I would never ever even attempt that. Ever. I mean, I could push 125 with the Behringer, I could bridge mono and push it to 500. I'm not going to. These are. what you should be aiming for. In a, if a home theater or a loud music, like if you're one of those people who I like to play my music loud, spend the money. Spend the money. If you can't afford two, buy one, put it in your closet, and when you can afford the other one, get it and then put them together. Because there's no more, oh, buy the BIC, the BIC uh, FH, no. Because they have a very similar tweet of the BICs, but that, Right there, whatever this magic sealed murder box has in it will deliver as loud as anyone could ever want. And if you have these and you're like, well, they don't get loud enough, just commit yourself because you've lost your mind. Now, part B of this review is going to be the matching subwoofers because, yeah, that worked, yeah, the aided, but there are limiting factors in this. Let's get to those and we'll explain why those. <laughs> 